also a special performance from a pro football player turned opera singer, Keith Miller. We've still got a whole lot of New Day coming up today, including comedian Ian Edwards and a performance from a pro football player turned opera singer. Yep, stick around. Yeah. It's a new day. question for you. What do football and opera have in common? Have you given up yet? It's actually not a trick question. The answer is Keith Miller. Keith played pro football in Europe and America until one day he auditioned for a music festival and on his drive home he received calls from local opera companies ready to cast him in five different shows. From that moment he turned his focus from the field to center stage and Keith is here today to sing an aria from Seattle Opera's production of The Magic Flute. Please welcome Keith Miller. Introduce your accompanist on the piano, this is please. my pianist, Jeffrey Moydell. Jeffrey. Amazing. Loved it. And what was the name of that aria? Oesis und Osiris from Die Zapperflöte. Sure. It rolls <laughs> right off the tongue. <laughs> so to hear even just your speaking voice, it would appear that you were meant to do this your whole life. Have you been singing your whole life, or this was sort of a recent thing for you? No, I, I never sang when I was a kid. I was out on the field, I was in a farm town, about 200 people, and sports was the only thing I was really interested in, and there's no singing in football. <laughs> so, you know, we didn't even really worry about the anthem, we just went out and played. I, I started singing in 2002, and got trained at the Academy of Vocal Arts in Philadelphia, graduated in May of 06, and then my, my professional debut was actually the Met opening night gala with Anthony Minghella's Madam Butterfly. So it's no kind pressure, of, no pressure. No, yeah. it was like <laughs> kicking a field goal in the Super Bowl for the first time, it was, but it was, it was really wonderful. Okay, so how did it occur to you one day then that I've never been a singer in my entire life, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and sing some opera? I saw Phantom of the Opera in 1994. We just finished playing Michigan in this Hail Mary game. And that year I took a girlfriend on a date and I was blown away. There was lights, the, the story, the music, everything was going off, fireworks, and I said, wow, this is amazing. I got a CD of it, and when I exhausted musical theater, I saw Pavarotti singing Nessun Dorma, and he had this, this look in his eye and a sparkle, and I said, whatever musical theater was, that's times 10, and I started listening to opera and singing along to it, and somebody heard me goofing around and said, 
you should get trained. And I said, nah, okay. <laughs> what was the reaction? Because you were still playing ball at that point, yeah? So I had just finished. Okay. I just finished it. 2001 was my last season. Did you get, prior to that, did, they, did the other players know you were interested, and did you get any razzing in the locker room as a result? Yeah, I, my favorite aria, actually it's ironic I'm doing Magic Flute because my aria that I would listen to before a game was the Queen of the Knights aria with all these crazy pyrotechnics. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. They, yeah, they rode me pretty hard. So it's kind of a different thing than most of the other guys are listening to on their iPods before the start of the game. I, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us then, what's more difficult, singing opera or playing against other professional football players? You know, the careers are very similar. With football, you have such a short time, but the scope of the career, the bell curve of the career, is, is exactly the same of opera, but it's just expanded over to 30 years in opera. So everything, it's, it's like being an entire attorney in five years' time. You can learn a lot from it and then apply it to the, the opera world. You've only been in the opera world for a short time, but how many performances have you been in at this point? Uh, I don't know. I know at the Met, I'm, I'm closing in on 200 performances, which I'm very, very thankful for. They've, they've really been wonderful in grooming my career to get to this point. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your success. This is one of the best sort of change of career stories I think I've ever heard in my life, and it was wonderful to hear you sing. Thank you for being with us. The Seattle Opera production of The Magic Flute is running now through May 21st. We'll have detailed ticket and schedule information on our website, king5.com newday, so you can go listen to Keith in person.